Ni hao, welcome to Ask Andy. In this video, our topic is measure words in Chinese. I'm going to answer four questions. Question number one, English measure words versus Chinese measure words. I'm going to compare English measure words and Chinese measure words to show you the similarity and difference between them. Question number two, when do we need a measure word in Chinese? That's a really important question to answer. Question number three, what are the common measure words in Chinese? So I'm going to teach you 12 common measure words in Chinese. Question number four, any tips and tricks for measure words? So I'm going to share with you my tips and tricks for measure words in Chinese. Keep on watching. Let's get started. Got a question in your Chinese learning? Ask Andy. How to find my channel and subscribe? Search Ask Andy on YouTube and you can find the channel on the top. If you're new to the channel, thank you for coming by to check out my videos. Please click the red button to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. So question number one, English measure words versus the Chinese measure words. Let's take a look. So in English, we say a phrase, a noun phrase like this. So that will be a cup of coffee. A cup of coffee. So what is that in Chinese? In Chinese, it is 一杯咖啡. 一杯咖啡. See, a cup of coffee. 一杯咖啡. They're the same or they're almost 99% the same. Just this off, right? And then a bottle of water. What we say is 一瓶水. See, almost the same. So in this case, you're going to say, okay, it's easy. So English measure words and Chinese measure words, so easy, right? But let's see another example. So this one, a piece of cake. So in Chinese, it is 一块蛋糕. 一块蛋糕. That is easy, right? But in this case, let's take a look. A piece of paper. So see, in Chinese, we have a different one. We have 一张纸, that is the point. So we have the same measure word in English, but we may have a different one in Chinese. But don't worry, we don't have that much. So this one, an apple. So in Chinese, it is 一个苹果. But in English, we just have an apple. So what is this 个? Actually, this is the point which is difficult for English speakers. So we have this g as the measure word here, but we don't have that part in English. So actually, it is not difficult. It is just different. For this one, a book. So in Chinese, it is 一本书. 一本书. So you are going to say, what is this 本? Actually, that is the measure word here. So that's the measure word for book, for shu. So you're going to say, what is that? So that's the tricky part. In this case, you have to think about there are some more measure words in Chinese, which we don't have in English. So here is the conclusion. Point one, we have more measure words in Chinese than that in English. That is point one. Point two, if we have a measure word for a noun in English, we would for sure have one in Chinese. That is not difficult. The tricky part is point three. But if we have a measure word for a noun in Chinese, we may not have one in English. So here it comes with the question. That is the second question I'm going to answer. So when do we need a measure word in Chinese? So we have done question number one. Right now, let's do question number two. When do we need a measure word? Okay, question number two. When do we need a measure word? So point one. So in English, if we have a noun phrase like a and then plus a measure word plus noun. Remember, I make it in brackets because so in English, we only have a and the noun. But in Chinese, we need to have the measure word here. For sure, we have the second case that will be an plus a noun. And we would have a measure word in between. But we don't have that part in English. Let's take a look. So for this sentence, I have a friend. So I have a friend that's in English. But in Chinese, it is 我有一个朋友. 
我有一个朋友 So this a friend in Chinese is 一个朋友 Second example I want an apple I want an apple So in Chinese it is 我要一个苹果 我要一个苹果 So see this 个 It is the most common measure words in Chinese for countable nouns. So see, in this case, we have this n and this a, but we do have another one in Chinese. Point two, if we have a number, like number plus measure word plus noun. So in English, we don't have the measure word here, but we have a measure word in Chinese. That's why I make it in brackets. See. I have two friends. So in Chinese, it is 我有两个朋友. 我有两个朋友. So in English, what we say is two friends. But in Chinese, it is 两个朋友. The second example for this point. I want three apples. That is 我要三个苹果. 我要 三个苹果. So in English, what we do for the noun phrase is three apples. But in Chinese, it is 三个苹果. 三个苹果. So we need the 个 here. Let's move on with the next point. Point three. When we say this, that, or which, we need a measure word there. Then we have the noun. So in English, we don't have the measure word there. But in Chinese, we need it. For example, this apple is good. So in Chinese, what we say is 这个苹果很好. 这个苹果很好. So in English, we have this. And this is 这. And this 个, we need it to be there. So 这个苹果很好. And then another example. That banana is not good. So in Chinese, it is 那个香蕉不好。那个香蕉不好. So in English, we just said that. But in Chinese, we need 那个. So we need a 个 here to be the measure word for the banana here. Okay, let's see the third example for which. So which apple is good? What we say is 哪个苹果很好? 哪个苹果很好? So here. Remember, this is the third tone. So 哪个? 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 So this is not 那个. So here, if you change the tone into fourth tone, it becomes that, 那个. But here, remember, it is 哪个? 哪个? It is which? So 哪个苹果很好? We need the 个 here. Okay, those are the three basic cases we need a measure word in Chinese. So we have done question number two. When do we need a measure word? Let's move on to point three. What are the common measure words in Chinese? Okay, question number three. What are the common measure words in Chinese? I listed 12 for you. Number one, ge. This is the most common measure words you are going to see and hear in Chinese. So, ge. So, 一个人, 一个人. So, if you find the pronunciation 人 a bit tricky, so what can you do? So, actually, for this 人, you can make it into Asian. So, this part, when you say Asian, 人, so in that case, you are going to make the pronunciation easily. So Asian, so 一个人. And then next one, 一个国家, 一个国家, which means a country. The second one, 份, 份. So for example, so 一份饺子, 一份饺子, which means a portion of dumplings. You won't ask for one dumpling, right? So you, you are going to ask for a portion of dumplings. That is a really important measure word for you to order food in a restaurant. So that will be 一份饺子. That will be a portion. For sure, it won't be one. There are going to be some more, like in a plate or in a bowl. So next one, 
，一份炒饭。So 一份炒饭 ，that will be a portion of fried rice. The third one, 本，本 ，for example, 一本书，一本书。So that is a book. This one is different from English, which is a bit tricky for Chinese learners. But if you hear it, you need to know that 本 is a measure word. And this one, 一本杂志，一本杂志 that will be a magazine. So you can tell 本 is the measure word for books and magazines. The fourth one, 张，张 so 一张纸，一张纸 that is a piece of paper. And then, 一张火车票，一张火车票 that is a train ticket. So you can tell this 张 is the measure word for something flat and thin. Number five, 杯，杯 so 一杯茶，一杯茶 that is a cup of tea. And then, 一杯啤酒。一杯啤酒 that is a glass of beer. This is the same in English, so it will be easy for us to do. Number six, 瓶瓶 so 一瓶水一瓶水 that would be a bottle of water, and then 一瓶果汁一瓶果汁 that is a bottle of juice. This one is also the same like the one we have in English, so it is easy. Number seven, 件，件 so 一件衣服，一件衣服 so this is a piece of clothes. So we have something similar in English, and then 一件衬衫，一件衬衫 that is a shirt. So for this one, we don't have in English, but we have this one here. So you can tell this 件 is the measure word for clothes. And then number eight, 条，条，一条裤子，一条裤子 That will be a pair of pants. Remember, this one is different from English. In English, what we say is a pair of pants, but in Chinese, we say 一条裤子 is different from the pair. In English, and then see another example. 一条路，一条路 So that will be a road. What's the point in common for a pair of pants and a road? I think that is the definition of this 条 So 条 is for something long and thin. Number nine, 双，双 So 一双鞋，一双鞋 That is a pair of shoes, and then 一双筷子，一双筷子 a pair of chopsticks. So this one is also the same as the one we have in English. It is easy. Number ten, 家，家 So you may know 家 is home by itself as a noun, but it can also be a measure word in Chinese. See the example. 一家饭店，一家饭店 ，and then 一家酒店，一家酒店 ，which is a hotel. So you can see a restaurant and a hotel in English. We don't have a certain measure word for them, but in Chinese we have this 家 So you can tell that 家 is the measure word for like a business place, for a shop, or something. Number eleven. 辆，辆 ，four ton. So see the example. 一辆车，一辆车 That is a car. 一辆自行车，一辆自行车 That is a bicycle. So what can we see in common? A car and a bicycle. So this 辆 is the measure word for those vehicles like a car or bicycle or motorbike or something else. Number twelve, 只只一只猫一只猫 a cat, 一只狗一只狗 a dog. 
So this zhi is the measure word for some animals, not that big, like medium or small ones. So we have done question number three. What are the common measure words? Right now, let's move on to question number four. Any tips and tricks for measure words? So I'm going to share with you my tips and tricks for measure words. So for this point, the thing is, we have so many measure words for different nouns in Chinese. How do you remember that much, right? So what can we do? For this point, my trick is just for Chinese speaking. So when you are speaking, you have to think about what measure word for you to use. That's really tricky because that would be something. It's like a barrier for you to speak. You have to think, okay, what is the measure word? Then you start to talk about something like a noun. That will slow down your speaking. So what can we do? Nouns, we can categorize them into two groups. Group one is countable nouns. Group two is uncountable nouns. Let's see what my trick is. So for countable nouns, remember, this is for speaking and it is understandable. You can just use ge. Ge, that is the one I mentioned. It is the most common measure words in Chinese. See, a cat. I already let you know the correct measure word for cat is zhi, right? So the correct one or the perfect way to say it is yi zhi mao, yi zhi mao. So can we make it easier? Can we say yi ge mao, yi ge mao? Actually, if you say that, people would understand you. That's something for you to speak faster. Otherwise, you have to think, okay, cat. So the correct measure word is which one? Oh, zhi. So it's going to slow you down. But what you can do is you just think that is countable now. And then for countable now, you can use ge as the measure word. It is not the perfect one, but it is the understandable one. What about this one? A car. So for a car, the correct measure word or the perfect measure word is yi liang che. Yi liang che. But if you say with ge, you just say yi ge che, yi ge che. Does that make sense to native Chinese? Sure. So that's the thing. You are speaking. What you really need is something for you to speak, not like faster. It is more fluent for you to speak. If you have to think about all those different measure words for different nouns, it takes too long for you to think. So you can think in your mind. So that is, this is a countable noun. Then I just use a ge there. See, a third example, a shirt. So the correct or the perfect measure word for shirt is jian. So it should be yi jian chen shan, yi jian chen shan. But if you forget that measure word, what can you do? You just say ge. You can say yi ge chen shan, yi ge chen shan. It is not the correct one. It is not the perfect one, but it is the understandable one. So that's why I'm saying this trick is just for you to speak. When you are reading, when you are listening, for sure you are going to hear these perfect ones, these correct ones. But when you are speaking, you can just do it in this way. Think. Think about it. So it's accountable now, I can use ge. It's better for you to talk in this way more fluently than thinking, oh, which measure word it slows down. When you're speaking, people have no patience to listen to you. So better you speak more fluently than perfectly, but too slowly. That's it. And then group two is for uncountable nouns. So for uncountable nouns, you can just think about English measure words. For example, a cup of coffee, we just do with yi bei cafe, yi bei cafe, and then a bottle of water, that is yi ping shui, yi ping shui. A piece of bread, we do with yi pian mian bao, yi pian mian bao. So first in your mind, you can think about it in English. If it's a countable noun, you can say it with a ge. If it's an uncountable noun, you just think about what the measure word is in English, and then you can check it and say it. So do remember that this is the trick for you to do in speaking Chinese, not for the one for listening and reading. I hope it helps for you to speak more fluently with my trick for measure words in Chinese. So that's all for today. Hope you find my video useful for you. If you like my video, please like it below. 
please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so that you can be the first one to see my latest videos. This is a Q&A channel. If you have any questions in your Chinese learning, just leave a comment below. I'm going to find time to answer it as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. 再见!